it would be quite useful for breeding traits that are technically difficult or costly to be determined, such as disease resistance, mineral content. It's a quite simple, cost-effective, and high-throughput technique. To begin, place four leaf discs into each well of a 96-well PCR plate. Add 50 milliliters of buffer A solution into each well. Freeze the plate in a minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer for 10 minutes. Then, defreeze the plate at room temperature. Incubate at 95 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Add 50 microliters of buffer B to each well and mix well by vortexing. Centrifuge the plate for one minute at 1500 times G. Collect the supernatant as DNA for PCR. First, use the DNA supernatant from one well as PCR template to optimize the annealing temperature. Add reagents and one microliter of DNA supernatant into each PCR well. Place the PCR tubes in a gradient-capable thermal block and adjust the heating program according to the manuscript to determine the optimal annealing temperature for each target fragment. Perform electrophoresis for the PCR product on 1% agarose gels to examine amplicons. Determine the optimal annealing temperature that enables specific amplification of the target fragment. To perform HRM analysis,